I can talk about beer for days. <laughs> not a problem, not a problem. <laughs> this is Tim Sutton from the Sutton Brewery. We will talk about beer in the next minutes. Sounds good will, to me. We will talk about your brewery. Ask away. I'll answer any questions I can that won't get anybody into trouble. <laughs> I came here um, in 2014 up to this uh, location, <clears throat> having brewed for a few years in my kitchen at home. I found this old, uh, or the ex, uh, Metzgerei here in Dallinville, which is more or less kitted out, ready for me to plug in my machines and start just what I was looking for. First of April, I am transitioning 100% into, into the brewery, becoming self-standing after four years of uh, hard brewing and uh, getting my beers out to a variety of local bars and restaurants, mainly in Lucerne, where uh, I kind of know the market. What did you uh, work until now? I've been the last uh, 15 years in sales for a Swiss finance company. So generally my beers are, are less fizzy than traditional Swiss lager style beers. And I've lost a lot of competitions because my beers are not very fizzy. It always comes back from the judges, not enough fizzy, not fizzy. But it's the style of English style is not very fizzy. Uh, like a stout, a Guinness mm -hmm. is not very fizzy. You just get a little bit on your tongue and then it's gone. It's very flat, actually. And um, so I, I, I try to stay true to style when I'm making the English beers. The tastes in Switzerland are changing. Um, I would do a, a, an event the year before where I would, do, I would use about... 90% Hellas beer and 10% Dunkel beer. Last year, the Luger uh, 10 day event, uh, I did exactly 50 50. 50% 50 Dunkel, 50% Hellas. Nice. Um, and, and now, more and more, I find people are coming up to the bar and saying, Have you got a dark beer? First question. Let's hope the trend continues. Uh, I think dark beer is a lot more flavorful and uh, has a lot more character than, uh, than a full Hellas beer, although obviously there are good Hellas beers. A nice Hellas after a game of football in the summer or, you know, is what you want. A refreshing light lager, not a heavy, warmer ale. Yeah. Most beers are too cold. Absolutely, absolutely, yeah, the, absolutely. It, it, it's a problem that I'm, I'm finding absolutely with, with my beers. When I do deliver to a bar, it mm. goes into the, the normal fridge, which is five, five degrees. Yeah. And, uh, and so then it comes out even flatter than, than it is when it's at 12 degrees. Mm -hmm. So already my beer doesn't have much gas. And if you serve it at five degrees, no, it's, it's, it comes out with not much no. uh, shaum at all. And uh, people are like, oh, it's, it's, it's wrong. And I was like, well, no, it says on the bottle, store at 12 degrees, not, um, you know, not at five degrees. So turn your fridges up. We have to start um, a Swiss uh, petition mm -hmm. and uh, get 100,000 yeah. signatures to uh, get all the bars to turn their fridges up yeah. to eight degrees. The Kühlschrank, or the, the Warmschrank. Uh, the Kühlschrank Initiative. <laughs> We're not joking. Seriously, I'm not joking. We should. <laughs> I want to bring beer. Good beer back to the people, indeed. There is a lot of crap beer around, um, not just in Switzerland. Having drunk, um, for example, Marston's Pedigree or uh, Worthington White Shield or Theakston's Old Peculiar or Newcastle Brown Ale 25, 30 years ago, I now drink those beers after being in Switzerland, go back and try my favourite beers, and they taste nothing like how I remember. Okay. They, they, they are just not as good. And I had a friend from Newcastle try my brown ale uh, not long ago. In fact, two, two guys from Newcastle have both said, wow, this is much better than Newcastle brown ale. But if I was drinking a Newcastle brown ale from 30 years ago, the competition mm -hmm. would be closer. Mm -hmm. It's great to try and recreate old recipes, try and bring back old tastes that, that weren't there. When I sent um, some beers into it, to England to a real ale uh, organization to get a, a stamp that they are real ale in a bottle, R-A-I-B from Camera, uh, which is the campaign for real ale in England. The guys who saved real beer uh, from the European lager invasion in the 70s and 80s. 40 years ago, the national corporate brewing giants were determined to squash traditional beer out of existence with their new keg beer revolution. But in 1971, a small group of young pioneers took on the mighty brewing corporations and gambled everything to save our great British beer. The chief tester wrote back to me and said, I loved your beers. Um, the 
Burton IPA for me was the, the, the best of the three. Uh, it really reminded me of Worthington White Shield IPA, which even now makes my hair stand up. It's phenomenal. So, yeah, it's, it, it's a passion for me, beer. I, 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 if I can do something better, then I will do it. I really try and make it the best I possibly can using the best ingredients that I can. English malts, English hopfen, English heifer and Schweizer Wasser. The best of brewing ingredients and the best water. Uh, and the water here is really excellent for brewing. So when I drive the, the India Pale Ale from here down to Lucerne, it's a... Uh, it's a nice bendy road, so I, I go around with my truck, <laughs> imagining that I'm on the high seas going to India and helping, you know, the CO2 go into yeah. the beer, but that probably doesn't happen, but it, maybe it does. I think it, it does help. It feel, I feel like I'm helping it do be more original. <laughs>